Alright, um, I guess we can uh, get things started. Um, I'd like to uh, introduce our first speaker. Um, Chi 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 okay. uh, as a PhD student in computer science and informatics at Oakland University, he received his master's in computer science from the University of Detroit Mercy in 2008. Um, and, uh, Bachelor's in Information Management from National Formosa University, Taiwan in 2006. His interests include web services, testing, and object-oriented programming test modeling. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Chi Xin Huang. I'm a PhD student in computer science. Uh, today I will briefly introduce the uh, rest First, uh, I will uh, introduce uh, what is the REST, then talk about the concept of the REST, and why is it called uh, REST, and REST constraint, why REST is important, and the conclusion. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is REST? REST stands for uh, Representational State Transfer, and it is introduced and uh, defined uh, in 2000 by uh, Royal Fielding in his doctoral dissertation. So REST is a style uh, of the software architecture for the uh, distributed hy hypermedia system such as the uh, World Wide Web. And the REST uh, take advantage of the technology and the protocol of the World Wide Web. Uh, terminology. Uh, before I go deeper to talk about the REST, I will introduce some term, uh, some terms first. The resource resource identifier, uh, representation, and control data. The resource resource is uh, any information that you that can be named can be a resource. For example, a uh, uh, search result. Then the third the res resource identifier is a URI. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier, and it consists of a uh, URN and the URL. URN is a uniform resource name and uh, uniform resource uh, locator. So the URI is uh, used to identify the resource. So the representation, representation is something uh, you got from the resource, but not the resource itself. So for example, a web page, the control data, control data uh, define define uh, the purpose of a message. Uh, if the value set of the resource uh, consists multiple representations, the content negotiation might be used to select appropriate representation depending on the message control data. Here is an example. The hello, hello here is a resource, so it consists of uh, three kinds of uh, representation. Uh, hello HTML, hello TXT, and hello uh, PDF. When the client uh, send a request to the server to access the resource, then the uh, control data will uh, choose, uh, oh, sorry, the control data will, ch uh, will choose like which one is uh, is the client want. And the concept of uh, uh, the rest, the rest the uh, client and the server. Uh, rest the architecture consists of the client and server. Clients initiate a uh, request to the server. Server process the request and return appropriate response to server. So the request and the response are built uh, around the transfer of the resource represent representation. The REST client application, when one or more uh, requests are outstanding, the client is uh, considered to be in the transition. And 
the representation of the resource uh, contains uh, links. So when user when user uh, choose to uh, in initiate uh, uh, initiate to uh, uh, sorry say a new uh, stage transition, they use the link. The rest is an architectural style, not a standard. So you will not see uh, you will not see any uh, rest specification from a W3C, or you will not see Microsoft or the Sun sell the rest developers toolkit. So why? Why? Because uh, the rest is an uh, architecture, so you cannot bottle up the st uh, a style. And so, only thing you can do is uh, to un to understand it and uh, design your web uh, in that style. So, although REST is not a standard, but it does uh, use the standard use the standard such as the HTTP, URL, uh, XML, HTML for text, and GI, GIF, JPEG for image. So why is it called a representational state transfer? We know the web it uh, consists of the resource. So for example, the Boeing aircraft company defines a 747 resource. So the client can access the resource using the by the URL. URL. Then the representational of the resource is return the Boeing 747.html to the client. Then client can travel the representational, and when and when the client uh, select what. A link in the in the document uh, in the document then to access the new uh, resource. So the new representation of the resource will place client in another state. So the client clients uh, transfer transfer the state with the Representation, representation of this resource. That's why it's, it is called a representational state transfer. The raster constraints. The raster uh, style describes uh, six constraints applied in the architecture. So the web Web, uh, web system design, which follows six constraints, is considered in REST style or RESTful. Here are the six constraints, the client server, stateless, catchable, uniform interface, uh, layered system, and call on demand. The first uh, client server, the Uniform interface separates the clients and servers. So clients are not concerned with the data storage. So that uh, the portability of the interface is improved. Moreover, the server are not concerned with the ser uh, user interface and the user state. So that the server can be more simple and uh, scalable. The status no no con, no client con, content is stored on the server. So each uh, request from the client to the server must contain uh, all the necessary information to uh, understand the request and uh, cannot uh, take a take advantage of the stored content on the server. So the state state section is uh, entirely kept in the client side. 
the capture ball in order to improve the network efficiency the catch constraint is is added so the client is able to catch the uh, uh, response so a response uh, must define itself catchable or not so when a response is uh, catchable the client is uh, given a right to reuse the return data for later. A uniform interface. When system consists of uh, many components, the communication between them become difficult. The component uh, must must to understand, uh, must to know the construct and the, the protocol of the communication. So by having the uniform interface, the component do not have to understand the application specific semantic. So it's more, it makes the commu communication much easier. And the layered system by distributing by dis, by distributing the overall system into a uh, various layer, the complexity of the system can be uh, reduced. So each layer only need to know how to interact with the next layer and. Each layer has its own uh, responsibility. So the entire the system can be management easily. Then call on demand. The clients can download the functionality and execute the call at the wrong time. Execute, execute the call uh, can be in the form in the form of uh, Java Apple or JavaScript. So why REST is uh, important? Uh, here is an example airline reservation service. Uh, there are two kinds of uh, design uh, can to implement the service. Uh, let's look at the first design. There are three kinds of uh, members, the premier, uh, frequent, flyer, and the regular. Then the airline provides single uh, URL to the members, so the members use the URL to access the service. The service is uh, responsible for Examining the client's request to to decide the pri the priority of the client and and the process then. So how about how about the rest? In the in the rest style, they it looks every service as a resource and identify the resource by the URI so the members can access the right uh, resource by using a URI so compared to different design the rest is more more much more easier so if we can uh, use this you can use the rest to simplify the architecture so why we need a compli com complicated one? And moreover, if other airline uh, want to uh, give the premier mem uh, member like more uh, good service or more benefit to the premier member, they may like upgrade the service but during that time it may 
may be shut closed or shut down for a while, then the frequent frequent flyer member and the regular member cannot use the service. But in the rest of style, once you update the service, the frequent flyer and the also the regular member still can use the service. So it's more flexibility and also scalability. A conclusion. The rest of renting service uh, is not linked to the system uh, which are open and scalable, extensible, and uh, easy to un understand. The open means uh, it's allowed to uh, the, the new functionality to be introduced. And the, the scalable, scalable uh, means uh, it doesn't contain the bottleneck. Extensible allows uh, the system uh, to evolve, but without uh, redesign of the existing part. And REST exploit the uh, full potential of the web by uh, adding or uh, by using the uh, web standard, existing web standard, and uh, adding some constraint to uh, to make sure. The modeling is uh, is well. Okay,